guys uh, welcome back to in her element my name is sierra your host and welcome back to episode two baby yes episode two already okay so i'm glad you're back baby i'm glad that you joined me today in this divine time and this is divine space thank you so much i appreciate it sister girl baby thank you so much and i'm not even gonna hold you no more we're gonna just get right into these topics today because baby we got a lot to take off the shelf so i'm not even gonna hold you no more so baby let's get into these topics uh to be honest really what Mm, nothing really has been going on with me like i really don't have nothing to run down to y'all to be honest just really chilling in the cut still like doing nothing y'all that's about it i plan to take some pictures you know this upcoming weekend you know probably will go out this weekend i don't really know we'll see the vibe you know see how i'm feeling but i definitely need to go get some weed though because i'm kind of low and talking about like you know just coming home to a nice blunt is very like relaxing it you know gives me something personally it gives me something to work extra hard for like okay i'm gonna just smoke when i get home it's okay like okay and then i'll be cool i can get the rest of the day started you know after i debriefed you know with that nice blind but <laughs> what else have i been doing to be honest y'all hmm, nothing really like nothing nothing chilling you know in the cut you know doing really nothing trying to get into some action maybe this weekend but i don't know she keeps growing because da- um y'all like it's very hard to be a plant mom i really thought it was hard being a dog mom but baby being a plant mom is really like taking a lot out of me so anyway y'all let's just get into these topics because i can just go on and on about that but tell me what do you guys think about my office though for real from but anyway coming off the shelf today is self-love what is self-love that's the question for today so i really am gonna be honest i really thought i knew what self-love was but no i'm really just figuring out what the fuck that shit really means and oh dang i wasn't gonna cuss dang i was doing good i don't i didn't even cuss that much episode one dang anyway so no but for real i really thought i knew but baby what i thought you know the illusion of of self-love was is completely not truly the definition so y'all i don't know i just maybe y'all are probably in this space where you maybe think you know what self-love is but baby i want you to really just think about these ideas that i'm going to talk about today and just really ask yourself what is self-love at the end of this so first i wanted to talk about self-talk the way we talk about ourselves like why are we so mean to ourselves sometimes like i'm sometimes really mean to myself like i'd be like damn like you know just because i forgot a little like event or whatever because you know i smoke a lot so you know i just be forgetting the little small details of things i'd be like damn dummy like and i'd be doing that in my head i'd be like now you would never let someone else in the street call you that so why would you even call yourself that so just checking ourselves you know when we just try to talk to ourselves talk to us nice because that's the only way people gonna talk to us nice because maybe the way we treat ourselves and the way we talk to ourselves so definitely we should all just be mindful about what we talk to ourselves and say to ourselves in public and in private because babe baby definitely the power of the tongue is crazy so definitely watch what you say and mean what you say okay that's a song i'm pretty sure like someone made that into a song anyway moving on because we're gonna be stuck here all day if i'm trying to figure out what the fuck the song was so yeah definitely getting better in self-talk i had to really learn over like i want to say like the last like hmm I want to say like a year now. I'm not, I'm going to give myself some credit. Like a year, I really have just been, you know, saying my affirmations in the morning, you know, writing down in my journal positive affirmations about myself. Like maybe like that's what we um all need to do. Like maybe get a journal, you know, if we can't always like, even if we slip up, sometimes we still need to write in our journal the affirmations that, you know, we have because we can't let ourselves forget who we are and you know our worth because self-love is your self-worth i'm pretty sure not i'm pretty sure i think because that's just what i think so definitely self-talk baby talk to yourself nice talk to yourself nicely baby okay 
just like you want him to talk to you nicely talk to yourself so oh so nicely even more how about you talk to yourself more nice than he even talked to you or your mama talked to you or your daddy talked to you or your granddaddy talked to you like really just i would do all that like because the self-talk that i have now for myself is crazy baby i'm walking past the mirror like what okay who me so i definitely talk to yourself better but i totally like understand like it definitely takes time and you know baby we gonna get there because i'm still trying to get through it so we're gonna get there for sure but also just how we let other people just talk about ourselves too like sorry letting others make up our minds about ourselves like what how can we ever let someone that don't even know us think that they know us enough to talk bad about us like that shouldn't even rock your world because they don't even know you baby they don't even know who you are like in this past year and a half like i really have just letting sh- shit roll off my back i'm gonna keep it a buck like if anyone hasn't said anything about me which i don't think people have because i really don't be in the mix <laughs> but like in my personal life like i really don't give a fuck because for a you really first of all you really didn't say it to my face because obviously i i didn't get the message from you i got it from someone else so obviously bitch you don't really fucking mean it two i don't really give a fuck because you don't really know me so and especially when it's not coming from my family or immediate circle like i really don't give a fuck what you think i'm sorry because like who are you to me like who are you to me and i wish some of us would under like stand that but baby it definitely took me time to to say that but definitely y'all need to get in the fucking like mood of just if it's not your people i'm talking about the people that really ride for you really gonna do shit for you really just do the thick and the thin of it just you know who your people are your soul family all that shit all that good stuff like if it's not none of them people I really don't think you should be that concerned about, you know, what that person has to say because, you know, do they really truly know you? Do they really know your intentions? Do they know that heart of yours? Like, no, they don't. So, like, they really shouldn't even have an opinion on you. But, baby, that's just what I think and what I believe in and what I abide by because you're not going to get me on my character, especially if I don't know you. I'm sorry. Like, that's how you feel baby who am i to tell you how you're supposed to feel about me baby an opinion you know is an opinion who i can't just run to the bank with your opinion and like cast them i I can't so what am i supposed to change it you cannot change that's what people gotta understand you cannot let other people's opinion of you you make your mind up about yourself so yeah that's how i feel about it but a definitely stay strong sis like i'm here so always will be but definitely the reasons why i think we should be kind to ourselves at the end of the day is because nobody gonna treat us like us like nobody will treat you better than you i'm sorry probably maybe not even your parents i'm sorry even though i love my parents to death i love them down i think i treat myself a little bit better than i than my parents treat me i think so like you know because you're with yourself more than anybody because you know you're with yourself 24 7 so you know that's just that (laughs) so definitely it's just you and you when you hit that pillow at night and it's time for you to wrap it up so definitely you got to be comfortable with yourself first and you got to be kind to yourself you know put yourself on that pedestal that you put everyone else on it's all about you be nice to you because there's only one of you okay and there's only one of me so definitely be kind to yourself it's needed it's definitely what i think that we should practice more as just humans in general i don't even want to put that on a women thing like as humans like i feel like we should all just be kinder to ourselves because i don't think a lot of people are that kind to themselves and it kind of hurts my heart when i see someone that's not kind to themselves. i'm like why do you think that way about yourself like you should think so highly of yourself that not one bitch one fucking squirrel not one fucking frog bitch nothing could get in the way of how you you feel about yourself like you should stand 10 toes in you like it's crazy so i definitely shout out to all the people that resonated with that but um definitely i think that you need to put yourself first period and i know that may sound selfish but definitely sometimes you gotta put yourself first and i don't want to say that's all of what i think self-love is but definitely making yourself a priority is definitely key 
to self-love like and I, it may not even be just big gestures or you taking a huge fucking vacation or you fucking going to the spa for fucking 10 days like you somebody you know I, I don't know just fucking five minutes in the car by yourself I don't fucking know just a blunt on the beach I don't know whatever you fucking like I'm just saying shit that I fucking like I don't really know just doing small shit for yourself like getting your toes done you know getting you some weed to kick back you know simple shit I don't know I like simple shit sometimes like to really treat myself like hmm maybe just a little pick me up you know might hit the little motherfucking you know i was gonna say mall but i really don't go to the mall so i'm fucking lying hit that motherfucking cart (gasps) hit my motherfucking car bitch bye 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 everything that was in my cart you know sometimes you know self-love you need to do you up sometimes so i definitely think that's important but hey also i feel like you know we set the standards for how we treat ourselves so if someone sees us like from the outside us not treating ourselves right like they can be like oh okay i could just do this bitch in because she don't give a fuck about herself so why should i and uh, nigga bitch you will never ever oh i'm so sorry y'all. let me stop cussing okay that was it i'm just saying no bitch you're not you're not okay just no so definitely we gotta treat ourselves better baby because it all starts with us and it just looks better on you baby if you really treat yourself you could just see it all over everyone's anyone's body just how they treat themselves is how they look because you know when you love you right you know you gonna look so oh so right okay and that's why he loved his body because he like dang i'm like yeah it's called loving on me baby i'm in the season of loving on me so if you see me out okay and you wonder why i'm walking how i'm walking and you know how this body swaying how it's swaying it's because i'm loving me i'm in the season of loving me and i feel like y'all should be too so and definitely we need to step into some more getting to know ourselves i think that's a part of self-love as well but hey we're gonna break that down in another topic you know later okay so and that's that so baby you heard what i said i hope there was a message in there for you so i hope you work on it we'll talk about it sooner okay so baby let me tell you about these uh, taste pills because i know y'all probably been hearing about them and i'm just gonna let you know that yes they are the truth baby okay i love them i personally love them i recently just ordered me two more bottles because baby i need them on deck baby it's gonna be i'm gonna be on outside this summer i told y'all okay i told y'all i'm gonna be outside so baby the taste pills are definitely (laughs) gotta be in the luggage okay they gotta be in the tote because baby these vitamins are the truth like for real so baby these pills if you didn't know they are natural okay baby they are full of powders strawberry powders banana powder cinnamon powder all those good powders baby they vegan all that good stuff baby and the best thing they help you with your personal fluids baby they help you look as good as you taste baby as good as you look baby you gonna taste even better baby they gonna balance that ph okay they gonna get you real real right okay baby and your man will never even know what you ate okay he wouldn't even have no clue baby so get you some and maybe even get your man some because you know i see you putting in work sis you know get your man some you know you need something that tastes just as good as you look okay and baby use the code in her elements okay let them know sierra sent you so go get you some baby yeah okay so now we finna get right into pillow kicking it my favorite segment this is really my favorite like i literally i'm not even gonna lie to y'all like for the episodes that i have planned like to be honest i really start with this segment first and then i work my way to off the shelf like i really I don't know maybe because i'm just in a drought right now and i just love talking about it and i can finally talk about it now so yeah but anyway and i'm talking about sex if you didn't know so yeah but first thing first we're talking about is a healthy sex life by yourself okay since we're talking about self-love and you know all that you know self-pleasure is definitely a part of self-love baby it is okay and i want to say it's like top three like because you need it you know when you're not with a man or when you just by yourself working on yourself loving yourself okay like i said you know this is the season of loving myself and y'all yeah nobody didn't tell me that you know there's kind of a drought you know 
in this self-love journey you want to say like baby the struggle is real like i haven't had no me in like it's pushing like double digit months like i'm about to hit a year i think this summer no lie no lie this summer is going to be a year like that's crazy like i'm kind of like in shock but i'm kind of like proud of myself like damn bitch you really did it like you really kept your legs closed i'm like really shocked but well not saying that i'm open them to anybody whoa chill out pause but i'm just saying like usually well because to be honest every time i have like got me consistently i was with a man so i think this is the longest i've been without a man like in a relationship i think that's really why i haven't had a man i mean like haven't had no meat sorry 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 fuck the man i take the dick all day fuck the man just give me the oh first give me the mouth and then give me the dick but anyway i'm going off topic so yeah but anyway, for real, it's a struggle on here. So, you know, where the men at? Okay, where the men at? But to be honest, I don't really know if I even want to, like, do I really want to hit my year? Like, I don't know. But it's just like, I do miss it. But it's like such an accomplishment, like a whole year. But it's just like, damn, a whole year without slinging that meat. Well, I'm not slinging no meat. Hold on. Pause. Okay. I'm talking about the dick getting slung towards me towards this direction but that's here and over there let me just get right into the topic because i'm definitely continuing to go off track so on pillow kicking we're talking about a healthy sex life by yourself so i want to talk about masturbation like you know like i mean for the women out there i just love the women that are standing and are honest because definitely i'm one of them like yeah definitely have toys definitely masturbate at least a few times a week have to like especially now i have no man like what like it's a must like i need to be able to like you know relieve a little bit of stress clear my mind you know get some new creative ideas going you know figure out you know a couple other things you know there's a lot when you get a nut like a lot so definitely i feel like i masturbate now more than ever because you know i've been by myself for so fucking long but i want to ask this question as well like do women still masturbate in relationships because when i was in a relationship i really didn't masturbate like that uh did i i really i don't think i did not as much as i do now maybe here or there if i didn't see my man for a long time maybe once twice and maybe but like nothing like now i think but no for real like do you still masturbate oh especially if y'all live with y'all man do y'all i want to know i'm nosy like how do you masturbate with your man you're in the house like i don't know i've never lived with a man so i don't really know how that shit really goes but i would love to hear so yeah let me know y'all but anyway i just want to give y'all the facts of why masturbation is very healthy because i know there's gonna be a lot of people out there like you need shouldn't do that and no i haven't masturbated this month yet i'm really trying my best because i am trying to practice it and i'm not trying to do nothing but i did slip up at the beginning of the month i'm gonna be honest and i did repent for it i did go to church so yeah but definitely it's very hard this month for me but that's here nor there but definitely i'm gonna get y'all the facts of why you should masturbate tonight or maybe this week anyway let me just tell y'all the facts first oh okay and this is coming straight from women's health okay so yeah and the first on the list it says that masturbating can help you sleep better and yes that is so true and i feel like that's why most people have sex before bed because you know but we all know that number two it helps deliver oxygen to your brain oh okay i didn't know that it says with orgasm there are a lot of activation in many areas of the brain which means a lot of oxygen is getting into the brain oh okay i definitely feel um but that's probably why i feel so refreshed after i come like i'll be like <sighs> like okay it's like a breath of fresh air hmm, now i can see number three masturbation can relieve pain pain oh my god let, let me get into this it says treating yourself to some below the belt self-love can actually help you reduce pain according to research hmm hmm isn't this the self-love topic today that's why today's episode is called true love because baby self-love is true love just like you getting that nut alone 
and or with a partner is true love okay that's how you need it okay number four it may strengthen your pelvic muscles Ooh. okay you know in case you gotta like drop a baby or whatever masturbation can also relieve stress yep boom knew that baby yeah indeed and number five or is this number six i don't really know but masturbation can tell you what you like oh yeah I think that's true. Yeah, I feel like you doing it yourself, definitely, you could definitely teach someone else how to, like, please you. I guess that's very true. Also, it says, I think it's number, no, this is number six. Masturbation can help you practice mindfulness. Definitely, if you don't want to meditate, you should definitely masturbate. If you don't want, like, to meditate and sit, open your mind with a nut, okay? I like that one. That was cool. Okay, number six seven and masturbation boosts your confidence oh what i like that i like that okay it says masturbation can help women get over the lack of self-confidence and the belief that they can't have satisfying sex says an OBGYN, adafi gobite i don't know how to pronounce her name i'm so sorry lady but definitely shout outs to you because you were so right okay i definitely feel like more a bad bitch once i get my nut be like ooh, yes yes okay got that nut i can further proceed with the day or figure out what else i need to do like it gives me that little like pep start that i need like okay you know i'm good now okay it brings me back okay to real life basically anyway number eight masturbation improves the blood flow where it counts oh okay now it creates the good blood flow we love that you know that means we have a human body so love the pumping of the blood also these are a few other ones that i found you know because i really just wanted to give you all the more facts because maybe you really need to you know get that nut by yourself you know because if your man ain't doing baby you have the also right to get that nut by yourself do not feel bad okay baby do not feel bad because you know it helps you do all this and you can have better sex you know if you masturbate you probably could have better sex you know so yeah but anyway also masturbation can help prostate cancer for the men okay look it says a 2016 study found the risk of prostate cancer decreased by about 20 percent in men who ejaculated at least 21 times a month damn a 2003 study also discovered a similar link between frequent ejaculation and lower prostate cancer risk okay and this is coming from the healthline.com okay so damn i did not even know that y'all like mm, that's why these men are doing too much but also it says masturbation during pregnancy is also good okay to all the women out there definitely that's what i'm saying get your nut bitch get that shit okay as you should get that nut okay for you and that baby okay mm-hmm. i'm just kidding i'm playing all day but no fro if you really do it no well if you're pregnant you probably got a man you know ask your man to help you oh you shouldn't be doing all that that's a lot of work for you to do anyway actually take some time off okay so anyway i'm gonna get out of here i'm gonna get into some action but i want to leave y'all with this affirmation because i feel like definitely i should leave y'all on a good note because it's about all about self-love so we're going to affirm this and yes i had to bring out my phone because this is where i keep all my affirmations so here we go let me figure out which one because i have so many okay here we go y'all i really kind of want y'all to repeat after me but you know you can always replay it back so i'm not even gonna hold you okay it says i listen let's say it together okay it says i matter i love myself i matter i love myself i am worthy i am valuable i have a great purpose i am radiant beauty i have a gift to give to the world i deserve to be happy i am intelligent i am growing i am healing i am evolving i am learning i am creating a better life for myself Mm, okay run it again you know i just want y'all to run it again you know run that again because i really want y'all to believe it live by it because you are it okay baby you love you i love you i love me you know we love each other okay so definitely i hope y'all caught a message today and i hope that you know if you didn't catch a message you know you share the message with someone that needs it out there if you feel like someone else needs to you know some more self-love in their life they need to start their self-love discovery and the journey you know either one so yeah but i'm gonna get into some action y'all 
it's a nice day outside it's actually like i'm not even gonna lie it's been hot in arizona for like the past like week or so so i'm definitely gonna like get these dogs done because i haven't got my toes done because i just haven't i've been really working and i mean i really just been working so definitely gonna get some action but you know we'll talk soon